Hi, my name is Ian Santos Meeker, and I'm here with Sacred Seed, uh, teaching you all how to prepare hominy. For those of you who don't know, uh, hominy is a variation of corn, and we make it uh, in the traditional way here through the process of nixtamalization. And this process uh, involves creating an alkaline solution, and one of the traditional methods that many North American uh, natives use uh, is using uh, wood ash uh, to create this uh, lye solution. So today we have uh, some wood ash that my professor Taylor Keene has collected and we will be using um, some Assiniboine flint corn uh, which our professor Taylor Keene has also grown and gathered. Okay so I'm gonna go over some of the things we'll be using today. First you'll need some sort of spoon preferably wood, any aluminum uh, may react with this lye solution so it will be important to avoid uh, using anything that's aluminum. We have a stainless steel pot, this will be used for cooking um, the corn in the lye solution. We have a sifter which will be used to sift out the larger pieces of the, uh, the ashes and we have a colander and this will be used for cleaning the corn after it's cooked in our solution and then a stainless steel bowl to put our finalized corn into. So an important thing for us here at Sacred Seed is to remember the sacredness of this corn and so one thing that we like to do when we're preparing or cooking this corn um, is to kind of set ourselves into kind of this positive energy with our thoughts, with our actions, to really respect the sacredness of this corn uh, when we're preparing it, when we're touching it with our hands, to remember uh, the traditional value that corn has had to the Native American people. So the first step on this process will be to sift out your um, ashes with your sifter. For the solution, you want about equal parts corn to equal parts um, ash. And so I have about two cups of ashes measured out here. Uh, this is about two parts, uh, or two cups of corn, and I'll be sifting it out into this pot. Now I have my sifter over my pot, and I will pour in my ash and begin to sift through um, my ashes to get out the larger chunks. Okay, so I've uh, kind of sifted away all of the fine ashes. This is about uh, the consistency of ashes that you get. The next step will be adding the corn and adding water. So I've measured out two cups of corn and I'll add this into our ashes. The next part of the process will be to uh, fill your pot with water. And while you're doing this, you can uh, stir uh, the mixture to make sure that the ash begins to dissolve in uh, the solution. So that's about as much water as we want to add for right now. And the ash has begun to dissolve into the, into the water and that's creating our alkaline solution. So the next step will be to put this on the stove. Now we'll be bringing this to a boil, put on high heat. Alright, so we've had the solution boiling with the corn for about two and a half hours. And as you can see, uh, a lot of the water has boiled off. Um, so once it gets down to a lower level, uh, you'll probably want to add a little bit more water because eventually this will boil down into kind of cement-like uh, substance. So to avoid that from happening, uh, keep adding water as it boils off. Okay, so here is one of the pieces that I've taken out and uh, broken apart to kind of check on uh, where the hominy is at. You can see that in the center it's still pretty white 
um, there's that white area and that's where it hasn't been fully cooked yet but this hominy a lot of the skin um, which you can see here has this is one of the a flap of the skin that has begun to peel off and so that's what you want to see that's the pericarp of the corn and that's what uh, this lye solution helps break down and allow for the inner fruit to expand. Alright so the hominy has been cooking for about four hours and it's looking about ready to rinse it off so I'm gonna turn off the heat and bring it over to our sink and pour it in the colander. Now we will clean our corn from its alkaline solution and this is an important part of the process. You want to rinse your corn out pretty well. Um, I'm gonna pour it all into my colander. Rinse it out with water. With your hands you can kind of rub the hominy a little bit. Um, you're going to just want to make sure you do this thoroughly and get rid of all of the ash and water solution. Okay, so right here we have our cleaned hominy and this is when it's ready to be cooked with. It's really cool to just see how the colors have been kind of in a way enhanced uh, now that it's a little bit more translucent. Uh, it's really brought out some of the beautiful aspects of this corn. Measuring this out, we were able to see that those two cups were expanded and now we have four cups of hominy that we're able to now use with a recipe or cook with, uh, put in soup. Thanks for checking out our guide on how to make hominy. If you are further interested, you can check out our blog post. I'll leave the link in the description below. And this discusses a little bit more about the science and the history behind the nixtamalization process. If you want to keep up with our organization, Sacred Seed, please like us on Facebook, and we'll see you next time.